I'm here with Chris Kinnear, a, a two-one defeat um, at home to Barnet. You've been in the changing room for, for, for a little longer than normal. What have you said to the players? Well, we're just trying to sort things out. It's no good uh, pretending there's not a problem. But I mean, I say most most of the game we're the same as ever everybody else. But it's just those individual individual mistakes that we're making uh, game after game, and um, we've got to cut them out. And uh, that's what we've got to work on. But. Uh, no ranting and raving, it's about learning and making sure that individuals don't do that and all working together. It's four, it's four defeats um, in a row um, in the league. How, what, what, do you, what do you put it down? You've said individual mistakes. Um, you've obviously tried different things, you've tried different tactics. It's, it just doesn't seem to be working at the moment. No, well, this happens in football, doesn't it? Sometimes you, you're on that run and you make a mistake and they whistle one in. So we've just got to... It does change round. I've been doing this long enough to know that, you know, we're not that far away. I mean, they were not a lot better than us and we say that every game bar... Well, every game, really, we've always been in it. Uh, you know, we could have scored and ended up 2-2 and then gone from there. But, you know, that's the way, way football is. Uh, but, as I say, not going to hide. Uh, we'll be training Monday there and uh, trying to trying to sort that out. And that's the only way you get better. We've, we've been in this situation before and in the end uh, got out of it. Uh, Musa Diara was introduced um, on just before half-time. Certainly fans, he was immense in, in the second half. Fans have been asking, why wait till now to, to, to play him? Um, well, he, was, um, he wasn't, to be totally honest, he wasn't fit when he came, came in pre-season. It slowly, slowly, uh, we were going to get him on anyway. It was 50-50 where we were going to play him, but obviously he did play. Uh, so today he did well, I don't, uh, don't disagree. But uh, it's not about individual players, it's about those individual mistakes that different people seem to be making a mistake at the wrong time really and it has been hurting us. Of course we, we saw Maystone, they, they part of company with, with, with their manager recently. We, we know the National League, we see every, every season that lots of managers come and go. Are you feeling any pressure at this moment? I'm feeling pressure not getting points. Uh, I mean, that's, that's not my decision, is it? But, you know, it's not going to stop us trying to win games. Uh, you know, that's, that's part and parcel of football. But, uh, you know, if you start feeling worrying more about that than trying to put things right, you've got a problem. But, you know, that's all we're going to worry about. Every game, try and put things right. There's, in all the games, we've done, done the right things. It's just those uh, silly things that we, we mustn't keep doing. So is it, is it fair to say then that the only way to put things right is, is count the, the individual errors? Well, I'm working at it. I mean, you know, it's easy to say, isn't it? Don't make a mistake, and, and people do. So, you know, on Monday we'll, we'll go through it and uh, those mistakes and hopefully alleviate that one. And then, you know, hopefully there's not another one. Uh, you know, at the end there, we had them wobbling at 2-1, didn't we? Uh, and putting them under a lot of pressure. So uh, it's just a matter of uh, working hard rather than worrying about whatever, anything else. Next up is Ebsfleet here, a, a big Kent derby. What, what do you need from the players? What do you need from the fans in that one? Well, like, like every game, I mean, the fans have been absolutely brilliant, haven't they, with us? Uh, you know, they're supporting the lads. They know we're going through a bit of an iffy time, probably the worst bit we've had in five years. But that doesn't mean that we're not going to get out of it by what, what's happened in the last four or five years. We know we have the knowledge. we just got to get the right people doing the right things at the right time. Uh, and we're not that far away. But again, it makes it look worse when you when you get yourself behind in, in, in those ridiculous goals. Thank you very much, Chris. You're welcome. Cheers.